We are quickly approaching the midway point of August, and we have lots of different sports to cover. I'm Cole Young, and welcome back to this Friday's edition of Sports Corner. To start, the NFL preseason kicked off with a Hall of Fame game last Thursday, but this weekend is technically week one, and there's a full slate of games. The Houston Texans and New England Patriots started the weekend off yesterday afternoon, followed by the Minnesota Vikings and the Seattle Seahawks in the evening. There are six games both today and tomorrow, followed by two more games on Sunday. I've said before that preseason isn't super important and most of the big name players don't see the field, but there are a few games that will be worth turning into. This afternoon at 4 p.m., the Pittsburgh Steelers will head to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers. For the first time in 23 years, the league will start a new season without Tom Brady and this leaves massive shoes to fill for the Bucs. Tampa Bay acquired Heisman Trophy winner and former Browns, Panthers, and Rams quarterback Baker Mayfield this offseason. Mayfield was given the nod earlier this week and he will start this game for the Bucs. He is currently in competition for the starting job with Kyle Trask and the two will be sharing a large majority of the reps throughout the preseason. This is a QB battle with a lot of interest surrounding it, so tuning into this first game will provide some answers to the Bucks' questions revolving around their quarterback position. The next game that will most definitely be worth a watch will be the Jets and Panthers. Yes, we already saw the Jets last week, and it's still very unlikely that Aaron Rodgers or any starters will see the field, but the Jets' second string is full of veteran talent on both sides of the ball. Along with that, this will be the debut of the number one overall pick, Bryce Young. Young has already been named the starting quarterback for the Panthers this season, and all eyes will be on him during his first preseason performance. Speaking of the New York Jets, a hard knocks training camp with the New York Jets debuted on HBO this past Tuesday. This is the 18th season of the 18-time Sports Emmy winning series, which places camera crews at the Jets training camp in New Jersey to document the team's preparation for the upcoming season. The show follows several high-profile players and storylines, most notably four-time NFL MVP Aaron Rodgers, along with 2022 Offensive and Defensive Rookies of the Year, Garrett Wilson and Sauce Gardner, and many more. The show airs every Tuesday on HBO and HBO Max from now until the start of the season, so don't miss any episodes. Over the weekend, the elimination round of the Women's World Cup got underway. Unfortunately, the U.S. women's national team has been eliminated by Sweden, losing in the round of 16 on penalties 5-4 after regulation finished 0-0. While there was some skepticism around the team after their draw with both the Netherlands and Portugal, the U.S. managed to play their best match of the season against Sweden, but unfortunately could not find a way to pull off the victory. This marks the earliest exit for the women's team in World Cup history. For reference, no U.S. team has ever finished worse than third at the Women's World Cup, and this team will finish somewhere around 13th. No U.S. team had ever scored fewer than 12 goals at a Women's World Cup, and this team only had four. And no U.S. team had ever failed to reach the final of consecutive major tournaments, but now this team has. It's an emotional finish to what many were expecting to be a big celebration. This team will most definitely bounce back. On the bright side, if you're in need of a soccer fix, then I have some good news. The English Premier League is back and the first matches are this weekend. Today at noon, Manchester City kicks off the season against Burnley. There are six more matches tomorrow, two on Sunday, and one more Monday. Manchester City is far and away the favorite to win their fourth straight Premier League title, but look out for some underdog teams like Liverpool, Chelsea, and Tottenham. Other than soccer, there's still some baseball, golf, and as I mentioned extensively, football this weekend. I'll be off the air next week as I'm traveling, but come back in two weeks for a special edition of Sports Corner where I will give my annual NFL full season preview. I'll have some predictions ready to go for this season, many of which I am positive will be wrong, but still will be fun nonetheless. I'm Cole Young, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.